So let me now bring on board Mr. H. M. Bangur, Managing Director of Shri Simon. Mr. Bangur, morning. Thank you for joining us. First, uh, uh, first, let's you know get the big picture from you. Uh, word on uh, your quarterly performance for the quarter gone by. Uh, how has the top line shaped up, and what uh, really uh, was the root reason why you have reported uptick in your bottom line as well? It is basically because of the very low base. Uh, from on a turnover of 1200 crores, a 30 crore increase in profit is very nominal. But last year the base was uh, about 25 crore. This year it is 55 crore, so it looks like 110 percent. But it is not uh, a question of percentage. On a very high turnover of 1200 crore, 20 to 30 crore doesn't matter much. Mr. Bangar, how did the power segment of the business shape up during the quarter and could you discuss the volumes as well seen there? Uh, this year, in the third quarter, we produced 50 uh, crore units of power and in the market we sold 25 crore. 25 crores were own 50% was our own consumption. Uh, average about 5 rupees was the realization. 125 crore rupees is the sales realization of power which is roughly 10% uh, of our total turnover. Now, we have commissioned the power plant in this year, this quarter, so our depreciation in power will be very high. And subsequent, uh, as a result, uh, losses will be there in the segmental analysis, but that is because of aggressive depreciation policy. Otherwise, EBITDA-wise, power division is doing very well. Bangur, if I look at the EBIT, which is earnings before uh, interest and tax from a power business, that has been negative. So what solely, solely contributed to, uh, to that drop? Higher depreciation or a cap in merchant power prices? Entirely to the higher depreciation. Otherwise, we are happy with power dividends performance. And this uh, trend will continue for one more quarter. And from the next year onwards, power dividends should contribute in a positive way, in a much stronger manner. Mr. Pangur, coming to your cement segment, that saw good growth. How has the production and dispatches been this quarter? Uh, in the third quarter, uh, uh, from November onwards, for two months, November and December, the growth has been phenomenal, about 17% for so for both the months. 3% was the growth in October. So overall, the growth is very healthy. I expect it to continue in January, March quarter. We should be able to sell uh, more than 3 million ton in the three months, which we have never been able to do. Uh, Mr. Bangur, also, uh, if I look at the window of your cement business, it has uh, seen a healthy jump of about 100% plus. Is this largely because of a low base or largely because of high cement prices? The, no, higher cement prices are definitely important and secondly is better capacity utilization because of very high volumes. So the fixed cost has been distributed on a much wider base. And what was the capacity utilization Mr. Bangor in the quarter? Uh, third quarter our capacity utilization be more than 85 percent. But Mr. Bangor, uh, you know, even though Indian economy is slowing down, um, analysts are of the view that cement prices in the coming quarter, they will only inch up. Q4 is the peak quarter for construction. So what is your outlook on prices? And also, do you expect that Indian cement industry will be able to clock a growth of at least 6 to 7 percent for this financial year, which is FY12? Yes, I think so. Uh, for the last two months has been very encouraging, giving us a very positive hope. And 6 to 7 percent growth of industry throughout India will be a reasonable expectation.